Have you ever been given two options in life, but you don't like either of them? That's kind of the situation I find myself in because I have purchased a pretty cool lawnmower, but it also came with a pretty cool price tag. And now what you need to do to store it is either put it in the garage and smell up the place, take up all kinds of space, or store it outside next to a tree with an old t-shirt over it or something. Then about two thunderstorms into it, you own a piece of junk that won't start for nothing. I didn't like either of those options. So today, I am going to create my very own incredible outdoor lawnmower holding thing. The IOL HT. I think it's funny how everything is more legit if it's an acronym. So therefore, everybody, the IOL HT. He was dug in too deep or moving too fast. Now I'm thinking this is a spot that will work well. Now yes, I could build a full on 10 foot by 10 foot shed here that holds myself and my lawnmower and a bunch of other things, but you know what? I'm not storing myself and stop building these mausoleums to all your junk, right? Can I get a woot woot or something? So this is where it's gonna happen, right? The lawnmower, I'm not a big fan actually of the lawnmower sitting directly in the dirt because you know what happens to dirt after it gets wet? Mud, and nobody likes that, especially brand new lawnmowers. So I'm gonna elevate it somehow on a platform or whatever and also, if bugs or rodents come to town, I don't want them living in the lawnmower. So, we'll create this sub-secret world that all that action could happen in. I don't need to know about it. I just want this lawnmower to be left alone, out of the elements, out of the rat race. So, I was driving my car down a back alley the other day, and guess what I found? Time's up. I found the base, the base to this incredible thing I was building. Technically, it was a pallet. I mean, if English is your second language, yes, it is called a pallet, but it could be transformed into anything. So I call it awesome waiting to happen. So super excited, put that thing into the back of my car. And you know what? I think trash day, has kind of a negative connotation to it. There should be a slash in there somewhere, like trash day slash find super awesome things day. Because it's in the eye of the beholder if you're feeling what I'm saying, right? Like I found some corrugated roofing that day as well. Talk about batting two for two or whatever that is, because corrugated roofing, I could totally use that as the top of the plhaol.com, whatever I call that thing. Put that thing at a little bit of a slant. And you know what? I think long after humans are done roaming the earth, corrugated roofing is still going to be around doing its thing. So I had gathered all my elements, and pretty much at that point it was a job for uh, chop saw, a couple of lag bolts, a dash of drywall screws, and that thing was set. Talk about permanent. Talk about brilliant. And at the price tag of... Did you know that the Hollywood sign is made out of corrugated roofing. It's not like I've been there personally and touched it with my hand or anything, but I was Googling it the other day. I was amazed to find that, of all things, the Hollywood sign was made of corrugated roofing. People die here, never knowing if they've ever lived. I can't believe at one point that sign was falling apart and no one cared. I thought that was a fake picture at the end of that one movie. It was real. Check it out. Perfect. 
my permanent low profile ignorable lawnmower storage unit. I didn't like option one or two, so I made option three.